YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need with another video tutorial on 3ds Max. Um, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and shy away a little bit from uh, beginner tutorials, and we're going to model this Colt 45 here. At least that's what I think it is. I'm uh, not really completely sure, but that's what it looks like. Um, and we're going to try to do basically everything you see here. We're going to add all these little knobs. Uh, we'll probably just not add this part right here. Um, just because I don't like it. I like it. It'll just be a little bit more solid. Um, today, we're going to just do the slide here, which is this part. Uh, that's all we're going to do. So it's going to be all of this area right here. It's not going to be too hard from there. Um, and then the next part of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and do the handle uh, and finish up anything that we didn't do up here. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to make this under 5 minutes uh, on the slide. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a reference plane. But that's just uh, obviously for reference here. So we'll go ahead and click 1, 1. Alright. And uh, try to delete that. Let's go ahead and add a uh, material to our reference plane. Okay, show it. Uh, now, this uh, particular image is 301 in length, so we've got 301 by 468. Alright, oops. Okay, alright, uh, now let's go ahead, let's come into the material editor. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just save this image uh, anywhere, so save it as. And we'll go ahead and save it to my desktop. Desktop. There we go, and we'll just save it. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just under the fuse, select bitmap, and we're gonna go to our desktop, and right there, handgun. Go ahead and add that, and now you'll notice that you can see it on your reference plane. Alright, come in here, F4, F3, and there we go. Alright, now what we're going to start out with is a box, and we're just going to select it and just drag it all the way across this here. Uh, we're going to bring it down to about there. And that looks like a good size for right now. Go ahead and pull it forward a little bit. Um, then this, we're just going to give it a normal, just uh, gray material. Let's go ahead and convert this to an editable poly though. Alright. And now we're going to come to the back. Alright, now you see that you can't see through the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, go into the object properties, and we're going to use backface C-U-L-L. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select back base coal and check uncheck frozen and gray. Alright, now go ahead and freeze selection. And now you can't select it, but you can select this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start modeling the, uh, the weapon now, the gun, a little bit here. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to ring this around. So ring and go ahead and connect it twice. Come in here, let's click two, click OK. And now we're going to come up inside the top here and we're going to do chamfer. And Alt X will make it invisible for a second. And we're just going to chamfer this down. Uh, I'd say about there, probably be good. Alright, I'm also going to uh, scale this like that really quick. Just to line it up perfectly with the image. Alright, now we're going to check the front, see how the front looks. Alright, that's good. And now what we're going to do is click the one key and uh, go ahead and move these across. Just to make it look correct. Alright, um, come to the back here. And we just got to connect where we chambered. 
is connected there. And it's going to select cost. Uh, that's fine where that is. And we're going to move this forward. Uh, hang on. Is that right? Uh, we've got to pull this back just a tad bit. All right, there we go. Um, now, let's see here. All right, now you may notice at the top right here, uh, there's a little bit of an extrusion. So what we're gonna do, uh, it's in set as well. So we're gonna go ahead and set that. And we're going to extrude up just a tiny bit about there. Uh, now it's almost as if you can't see it um, unless you're at a certain angle here or right in front of it, which is exactly how it has it uh, in the uh, picture. Just, it's a very, very small thing, but I uh, still want to add as much detail to this as possible. Um, go ahead and put that up there. Okay. Nice. Alright, um, now the last thing we're going to do before I uh, stop the tutorial here and then finish up the slide is uh, we're going to make this cuts right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select here. We're just going to cut along that. All right, and we're going to do come underneath. OK, got four. And we're going to just plop it right there. All right, now you might want to pop this all the way up and all the way down. And this one just to ensure that uh, your meshes, or uh, your mesh will look a little bit better. All right, and we're going to select all of these, and all we're going to do here is bevel. So, and pull this down. Okay, so let's check that out. All right, take off the alt X, and it should look about right with the image here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just move it off to the side really quick. So, as you can see, for the most part, it looks about right with the image. Uh, obviously, got to move some of that stuff, but we'll do that in the next video. I uh, hope to see you guys there, because uh, I want to go over like six, seven minutes. All right, see you guys later.